Hi YouTube. Let's get started. This is a new love. I haven't done one in a long time and somebody did suggest it on my um, poll last time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I haven't forgotten other the other suggestions but this was second uh, most voted. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some charms as well to get some more clues on your new love. So let's get started. Um, four options and a quick an apology for the last video I'm gonna post it the same time I'm posting this one because I had so many interruptions um, I got a little bit more comfortable today everything seems okay um, but that last video I just didn't want to redo it is so much energy already <laughs> put into it so okay so let's just get here let's get started if you need more time you can pause it and um make your choice let's get started okay i am gonna be making sure if it's recording because it's mercury retrograde and i don't want to risk it okay so let's see group a who is your new love and then when we're gonna we're also gonna pull the win we have Chiron healing wow this person has gone through a lot of healing uh, first thing that I really came to me is those those tears this person has been healing they've been going through a lot of growth a lot of releasing um, I feel like you have too. for some reason I'm feeling like it's also you but I feel like both of you are going through this um, right now because there's a lot of endings right now, a lot of cleansing, a lot of um, transformations happening right now. This person also could have could have had a lot of wounded um, childhood memories or something like that as well. I'm getting here and then we have conjunction empowerment yes they're getting their they're getting their strength back they're ready they're you're gonna meet them when they feel strong enough you know when they really do want to when they feel empowered like they've been they've been healed i also feel like this person you're gonna feel their energy right away they're they're intense they're like it kind of overwhelms you you know you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel something their vibe their energy you're just gonna feel it right away i feel venus yeah you're gonna feel it right away we have venus here which is romance it's um love it's money brings a message of money as well wealth luxury maybe this person really loves a uh, luxury life uh, works hard for their money and for whatever they have as well they love love this person is very attractive as well it could be a libra or a, or a gemini i also sense water here we or it could be a leo we have leo here a leadership maybe they have a leadership role as well but somebody that is very confident very creative and um leads the way really really makes it known how do i say they're like they take pride in what they do they take pride in their looks they they are they they're just very they're also a go-getter they stand out they love to stand out um what else do i have okay hmm so let's see that's what I'm I was reading all those sorry okay yeah very self-confident as well I think I said that okay so we have it's like in your destiny here we have the 10th house <clears throat> the 10th house is of course the career they're into their career they are they like the structures, the boundaries. They, they have strong boundaries. They have strong discipline on themselves. They could be 
uh, an authority figure here very strong in their career because we have Leo here as leadership and then we have the 10th house here which is um, career success maybe it's a very successful person also I'm getting that this person is supposed to be you know is meant to cross paths with you we have destiny here but I'm getting very strong leadership here. They really do dedicate themselves and they take pride in what they do um, for a living here. Interesting. I wonder. I don't know. Let's see. So we have aloneness. So this person is very, very smart, but they also keep their distance on with people. They're like they know how to um they're seeking more and more but i'm getting like it's lonely at the top you know they've reached the top and now they're seeking for love like they've already conquered their career their leadership and now they're seeking love this this person is going to be seeking love yeah it could be a virgo yeah let's see what do we have courage wow so this person also let's see. this person is gonna i'm telling you this person has gone through a lot because we have chiron here and then with the courage and you see all those rocks here with the flower coming through it's like they're blooming like they had to go through so many struggles they had to heal from it and now that they've really feel like they've gone through a lot and, and they've succeeded a lot here i feel like they are ready for something real in love Ooh, okay i feel like i'm telling you this person has a lot in their minds oh they went through a lot of tower moments you see all those towers they have gone through a lot a lot of struggle but they are blooming right now i feel like they are at the top the only thing that this person feels is that maybe they have too much on their mind right now too um or when you meet them they're gonna have too much on their mind because of their leadership role or the way that they um they could be a little dramatic you know <laughs> because if it's a leo it could be a little dramatic no offense but you know um but they're so creative or they're so invested in work or something like that that they could be stressed at times they they let um their thoughts run their their mind you know so this person could be also learning how to control their thoughts um it could be an air sign somebody very important in a leadership role big time here i'm getting that very strongly it could be an air sign hmm. study see this person could be reading research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career i feel like this person is study something here is probably involved something about computers or studying teaching um researcher research analyst um is involved in education of some sort um could be a counselor hmm yeah maybe empowers other people as well if they are a leadership role too they probably are in charge of a big team and very um, like a mentorship kind of thing <laughs> mentorship yeah we got mentorship because I've, I've felt that because we have empowerment right here so a mentor usually does empower others here we have passing on wisdom and refining a student's character so this person really loves to um, pass on their wisdom what they've learned maybe there are also teachers or maybe someone that um, loves to educate those that are wanting leadership roles or something like that interesting how i got those two so this person could be very very aware very very um smart educated person here wow 
okay give me more on this person this new love for group a new love for group a i didn't feel that so i'm not gonna get it okay see like i said they've been through a lot of storms love line and i feel like they had to really um kind of uh, how do i describe it when you heal when you're going through a storm you're healing okay you're purging everything out this person has gone through it all and really um revived himself like maybe he felt dead because of so much that they went through chiron is very very heavy energy like chiron really is the wounded healer like they chiron will <laughs> will bring you down to your knees kind of thing okay give me more on this person for group a's new love he could be a long distance somebody that you might um you might find long distance or this person i feel also that you're gonna be traveling with this person key to my heart i feel like they will be i feel like you're gonna be this person's key to like key because i feel like this person could be like you know in a way looking for love but also has learned so much that they're not going to just give their love to anybody and you're going to be the one that's going to open this person like revive this person's heart back to love yeah i really feel that here there is going to be uh well venus is here maybe venus is really granting you a, a wish fulfillment here because it has gone direct and um it does bless people once it transits here so it could happen within the next month but we'll see about the time both of you are gonna have deep conversations you're gonna understand each other this is a really nice reading okay very nice the bottom of the heart i'm telling you they're gonna be guarded that's gonna be the the problem here they're gonna be a little guarded and um because they've been through a lot here okay so let's get there when you're gonna meet this person let's see when are they gonna meet this person new love i'm just gonna do oracles actually i'll pull some tarot when are they going to meet this person? Group A. This new person for group A. Okay. So we have the star. <laughs> so the star can be actually. Can be. When the stars align. Sorry. That's what I have here. In divine timing. That's what it really does bring. For, hmm, let's see more give me more I am using the Lenormand so I'm going by that I feel like when the stars align but that's when Venus I feel like it's Venus I feel like it's soon like the stars are aligning um, it doesn't want to give me another one okay so we have the ship so sorry about that somebody was knocking the ship is about three months it could be three months or three weeks or three days but i don't know who knows it could happen um i also get the message that this person is gonna love to to take adventures and stuff like maybe even go on travel or something let's see let's put some tarot real quick was it i was planning on doing tarot but then hmm. let's see i'm gonna use these again so give me a message with more for group a give me three for their person what do they do or how are, give me more on them 
Okay, so again, I feel like this person, we have the Hierophant. There is potential for a higher level of commitment. This, again, with the authority here, could be a leadership role, authority, could, um, I have the Knight of Swords, this person, I feel like they've, they're learning from their past of what happened, they're healing, and they're ready for a new beginning here. They're letting go. I feel like this is giving me more of a letting go feeling. Like they're healing. Their cup is empty now, but they are feeling like they're purging out what they're feeling. It, they could have been involved in another relationship or a commitment here, but now they're letting that go. I really do feel like a purging energy here, like letting go and starting new here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles. Mm hmm. That is what I'm getting. Um, I do see Taurus, air, and um, earth signs. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm still having trouble with my communication. Sorry about that. But I'm better today. <laughs> I don't usually have that. Okay, so let's get more on this person with your charms. Give me, tell me more about this person, spirit guides. Okay, there's a string in here. Tell me more about this person. Okay, something flew out. Okay. Oh, two things flew out. We have a dragon here, which this person is going to be very energized, very energetic, a go-getter, a leader. Um, um, how do I say it? Energy is going to be, you're just going to feel this person's energy. Okay, and then we have the money. Again, this person is going to have money or save, be able to save money. This person is into luxuries. Um, I think I had said that earlier luxuries prosperity this person has worked a lot has worked themselves up to the top it could be an air sign this person is going to love to communicate um they're going to come in as a knight but like a more i'm getting more of like not a flirty type but kind of want to message you here and there not showing too much of their cards that's what i'm feeling and then with the magician but they will be taking action they love to um be that go-getter that um creating something from nothing they know the power they hold they like to manifest they like to work at things and really bring things into fruition like they really know how to manifest or work towards what they really want like a leadership here okay we have a car so they might be might have a nice car but this person could also be um I feel like this person is going to have a nice car because of Venus here, but they could love traveling as well, or maybe they are going to be long distance and they'll be traveling towards you. Look at that. We have the key again, and we had the key here. I'm telling you, I feel like you have the key. You're. I feel like you're going to be the key to this person's heart because they're still coming up as an heir here i feel like it's them it could be a gemini or virgo here or just an air sign we have air sign here so and then we have a boot so maybe this person i don't know maybe they like country music or this person has walked away from a past and it's leaving it behind passport see i told you this person's gonna like to travel that's why we got the long distance maybe it is a uh, long distance but i feel like this person could also love traveling okay so we have faith this person is going to be a man of faith a woman of faith or they're going to be very um they're going to have their beliefs and they're going to stand by them, okay? Maybe they're going to be the different, um, I mean, the same belief, they'll have the same beliefs as you. This is going to be true love. We have Venus here, so it's two of cups. True love, um, a spiritual connection here. 
we have the nine of wands so this person has a lot of responsibilities and we see this here they have a lot of responsibilities a lot of in their mind a lot of what they need to take care of they've already succeeded a lot but with a lot of success comes a lot of responsibility okay this person is going to be very responsible and they will take on uh the responsibilities of a relationship okay i already gave you the timing and let's get initials let's see let's see what we get i'm not gonna get that many because that's not that's what's the whole point <laughs> if i get the whole alphabet <laughs> Okay, so we have S, we have L, we have J, we have K, and we have T. Okay, so that is what I got. Those are just special ones. Maybe you've met them already. Who knows? So that is what I have. I hope that felt like it resonated. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Let's see. Okay, B. Let's see what we have for B. Who is your next new love? Let's see what we get here. Mercury. Ooh. Okay. Mercury retrograde is really affecting my chart this month and it's really weird to me because it usually doesn't it's so weird but <laughs> um we have mercury so it, of course it's words it's thoughts it's um analyzing information um it's reports i also get with the bumblebees here i feel like it's um creativity for some reason Mm hmm so this person's gonna love the wonder of life um i'm getting that very curious person uh, knows how to communicate with you will not leave you in the in a confusion state this person will tell you what they what they want they won't they'll be really good with their words okay they'll see the the both sides of of the story as well they'll they love learning they could be a social butterfly as well they're very curious about life they see things through a very very different kind of um how do i say it kind of they have different visions here mm -hmm. so they could also let's see what else um, they could also be very family oriented. Um, they could be working at a library or schools or teachers or maybe something in, in communications. Um, in maybe what's in communications? Some computers or something. They're very, very smart. They like to bring up ideas. I, I like Mercury because well, I'm ruled by Mercury. <laughs> So we have Aries. Um, this person is a go-getter. They could be selfish or they could be coming off as being selfish. They love the, the, the good life, I feel. This person could be a little bossy, um, a little fierce, assertive. They are very active. Um, what else? So they also care about their first appearances. They're, or they can, we, they can be an Aries. But if not, this person is also starting a new beginning, as a lot of people are. Okay, a lot of people. We have Pisces. They could be also a mystic, or they could be a healer, empathic, a very. They really f believe in magic very spiritual very impractical um very mystical they imaginative very compassionate mm -hmm. yeah i also feel this person 
I'm getting very, very strong um, that this person will be ending something and starting something new because we have an, an ending here and then we have a beginning from Pisces to Aries. Interesting. For some of you, this is your past wanting to come back. I, I just got that. But uh, let's hope not because this is for new love. Okay, so we have Mercury again. Look at that. It could be a Gemini or a um, Virgo. But again, we have communication. Knows how to communicate. Good with their words. Yep, very aware. They analyze everything. They pick apart everything. They really know. They're very aware. Yeah. Very. So we have the first house again interesting we have the first house here which really does look at that we have two masks again i feel i'm getting like a a gemini in their chart or something like that or very mutable sign there but the first house is also aries interesting so it could be a very strong Aries in their chart. Or this person really does care about, you know, their their first impressions. They're very action oriented. They really are firm on who they are. They have their own belief system. You know, they're yeah. Ooh, we have the Empress. It could be a Taurus or a Libra here. Um, but this person is, you know, looking for growth looking for their empress or emperor here they want growth in their life they could also be you know um reaping the rewards of what they've worked for if they're going through this transformation like the whole collective is i feel like maybe they're reaping their rewards from the past here i don't know why i'm getting that the totality this person I feel like this person is going to have a hard time trusting people because they've already they've had a lot of envious people around them mm -hmm. a lot of bad influences past lives you could have known this person from a past life look at the duality here we have two lizards there's a lot here it could really be a Gemini or a Taurus or Taurus cusp Gemini interesting how that came out and then we have an extra message here friendliness a very strong spiritual connection between you two you both might even i feel like you both will be aligning to this you both will feel it i'm feeling more of like you're you're gonna be their yin to their yang here because we have yellow and red one could be very um, optimistic very outgoing have a very fresh um, vision maybe it's I feel like there's gonna be here again with the duality see <laughs> I don't know it's just too many this person's gonna be yeah I don't know but I feel like one of you is gonna have passion although the other one is gonna be more of a playful kind of way i don't know why i'm feeling that so it's either or you or them nutrition so this person is gonna be this person is gonna love to um cook cook for you it's probably gonna be very good at their culinary skills maybe they're gonna be a cook maybe they're gonna be into nutrition um really focused on their own health or could be even a nutritional list is that what they're called i forgot nutritionist i don't know somebody's gonna correct me i know it <laughs> but <laughs> they're gonna be into nutrition the healthy eating or maybe even cooking they'll love to cook this person's gonna be a seeker they thirst for wisdom they love to learn here a lot okay let's see when you're gonna meet this person Okay, let's see. When is Group B going to meet this person, Spirit Guides? Oh, okay. 
so we have the clouds i think i'm gonna pull two no i'll just keep it at one because the last pile i did two but that's because they got divine timing so somebody always wants you know a prediction um we have clouds so the clouds is brings a message of like it could be six days six weeks six months or in june uh, maybe you've already met this person in june uh, we're going into july or maybe there is no could happen or it could be in six weeks after june or something like that but that is what i'm getting here and then let's see give me more on this person spirit guides for group b their new love Give me more on this person, their new love for group B. Two more. Ooh, group group um A got that. Deep conversations. Of course, they're gonna be good at communicating with you. We have love languages. Maybe their love language is communication here. They're gonna want to know about you. They're gonna want to know everything about you because they're a seeker, they thirst for the learning um mercury also is learning a lot um then we have up in the air so this person i feel like they will at first probably have you up in the air because something went down in their life something went up in smokes like something just fell in their life why am i getting old love here for some of you like you've already met someone in the past and it just went down or nothing came out of it look at that old footage see maybe it is a past life maybe you've known this person from a past life that's probably why i'm getting that past life it didn't go well before but now i feel like now they want to get it right look at that past love just came out i told you could be past love or a past life connection coming coming towards you here it could be a twin flame we have fire in my soul under underneath the, the, in the bottom of the deck maybe this is a twin soul a twin flame you've been dealing with for some of you <laughs> so crazy okay okay give me more on this person Give me more on Group B's new love. Yeah, this person probably in a past life or maybe in the past. Both of you did not end well. Somebody has been in their thoughts a lot or maybe having dreams about this. But they want to um, clear the air or maybe, you know, get this connection grounded and get it right this time i'm feeling and look at the sun wasn't i speaking about the sun i thought i did hmm maybe it was the last one okay so feel like they want to clear the air somebody is stressing over this it could be someone you've already met queen of swords or maybe in a past life um in a past life something happened here where it caused a lot of stress a lot of hurt um and now they want to come towards you maybe in a past life you also cut them off or maybe you've cut them off already before you've met them already <laughs> we have the queen of swords so i don't know i feel like the past is interfering this definitely okay let's get some charms here Give me more on this new love for group B. Okay. Oh yeah, I think I got a lot. Okay, so one flew out. It's a angel. So you might be getting angel messages right now or synchronicities or signs or maybe this person also believes in signs, synchronicities and you know the universe is communicating with them. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so they could be a cancer. This person does care about their home. They're 
environment their home environment this person can also love soccer or maybe if it is a twin flame soulmate connection here you've been back and forth with this person not being able to get on the same page the well tell the well tell brings a message of the well tell brings a message of power and speed power and maybe they do have a lot of power here or maybe they just take a lot of action they just you know the well tell really helps the well to keep going maybe they're very action oriented here we have a lot of tarot cards wow let's see let's see what they are the ace of wands so this person could be a new fire sign or this person's gonna be very passionate I thought I said that right one's gonna be very passionate the other very optimistic very childlike um, we have the the Queen of Swords again so you could be an air sign or or them but maybe someone cut off the other person before it could be also a past life let's see what we have we have the ace of wands again a new passionate beginning with them or it could be a new fire sign we have the page of wands yep again starting something new a message of passion messages of passion between you two lots of passion we have the fool and we have the eight of wands M wanting to make to move forward here taking a leap of faith okay so we have also these are tiny we have four of swords somebody has been um has been healing or over or going through a lot like thinking a lot of thoughts over you know how do i say it over analyzing or just analyzing how everything has played out or maybe they've had dreams about you if this isn't a past life connection this person already has their eye on you okay could have their eye on you you've probably already met them didn't we have june for this connection i think so there they have been going through a, a transformation could possibly be a scorpio or they've been mourning the past of something here something went up in smoke again in the in the past we have the turtle so this person could be could be a little slow but it's more of like being cautious maybe they want to go slow in this connection they have learned a lot from the past we have the school bus again another transformation we have a dove which to me it speaks of transformation a new beginning here they're wanting to let go of the past whoever it was and they want to move forward and really quickly like really quick we have the ring here so there is a higher level of commitment that could be possible between you two yeah very possible we have the pizza slice the pizza slice always brings me the message of going out and having fun this is your person both of you can have fun with each other and really go out and enjoy your time together like if you both were kids teenagers yeah this person i feel like this person does criticize a little too much or maybe um really analyzes things of course they're ruled by mercury here they could be ruled by mercury they really analyze every situation here we have the comb this always brings me the message of them going through each you know how the comb goes um i don't know if it's a comb or i forgot what they're called but you have to be very precise of where you're gonna put this in your hair for for women of course if you know what it is so it's like going through things with a uh, fine fine how do i say that i forgot i'm sorry but it's like with a how do i explain it they, they just analyze everything here 
sorry forgot can't even speak tonight <laughs> again okay so that is what i have let's get some um initials let's see what we get oh i got more here we have a j popping out we have a g we have u we have a w we have an m an e and a y okay that's just for an extra message um, but it is general so it can happen you know it could be anybody that is what we have I hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much for watching and take care let's move forward to C Okay, let's see, let's see. Who is your new love? Ooh, we have 10th house reputation. So this person really cares about their reputation. They've achieved a lot. I feel like they're looking for their king, their queen. Um, they could be have a lot of responsibilities, career oriented. Uh, an authority figure really really has worked themselves out you know uh, is probably also building an empire here wow pretty good we have a Sagittarius this person loves to um, travel they love seeking like seeking information like they're the seekers they're the adventurers the curious about life the risk takers the um, honest people generous independent um, these are very good people they have a good heart but they are very action oriented they don't like to stay in one place a lot very enthu enthusiastic sorry I can't speak tonight Okay, essence. Uh, I mean, we have the sun. So this person does care about... Ooh, I feel like this person gives their heart so easily to others. We have the expression self-awareness energy. They have this energy to them that you can feel when they come in the, in the room. Um, they're very creative. Um, masculine. Very masculine. Like, they have you can feel more of their masculine side than their uh, feminine it doesn't even matter if it's uh it's not gender specific but you know they have this spirit that you can just feel them when they walk into the room that's what i'm getting with that mm -hmm. okay so this like this person is really they love their freedom they don't like to stick um, to one spot here we have that very heavy hair here sorry and they have a lot of hopes and wishes and a very big circle of friends friends are very important to this person too okay so they could be Saturn rule too they've gone through a lot they've learned the hard way they've learned a hard lesson they um, but they've had to mature they've gone through a lot they had they're like maturing they've they've had to mature the hard way that's what i'm getting with that the six of cups this person could be a past life connection as well we had that in the last pile of two could be a last a past life connection or this person is always dreaming of having someone to travel with someone to they probably already achieved a lot in their life as well but they do wish that maybe they can have somebody to share their travels with their um, happiness clinging to the past so this person could be when you meet them they could be clinging on to the past because they wish they had that we have um, five of cups too they probably think a lot about the past or this could be a past life connection they probably um, already dreamed about this as well I'm getting dreams I don't know why maybe because of the stars and this 
the source so again this person could be an authority figure they are very action oriented mm -hmm. very action oriented I have heavy um, Sag heavy fire in general here mm -hmm. and then water of course so this person could be I'm also getting Aquarius this person could be like into inspiring other people young people a counselor a mentor uh, into teaching a teacher or just I don't know something involving kids a counselor maybe something involving kids could be also somebody that really loves to tell their stories and amaze others or really loves to take care of the young people or maybe this person feels young too I'm feeling that I don't know why maybe because of Sagittarius pioneer so passion for doing and creating the what has not been done before so this person loves to be like really take action towards their creative mindset they come up with ideas that other people don't or they really try to they're very enthusiastic about learning things that's what i'm getting they love to learn mm -hmm. okay give me more on this person spirit guides give me three Wow. So we have the moon. So this person could also have a side to them where they stress too much and they become cold. They could be very um very passionate about their job or what they do for life here or maybe when it comes to their what they do for a living here they get too stressed or maybe they're a night owl and they have trouble sleeping at night because of work mm -hmm. i feel like this person is very responsible at work as well king of swords they know what where they stand what they bring to the table at work but i feel like that's their other side i feel like they have to being responsible is a stress for them and it usually comes at night for some reason yeah this person can't sleep much i don't know who it is but yeah let's see when they're gonna you're gonna meet them or if you've already met them okay divine timing wants to pop out give me more on um group c when are they gonna meet their new love we got the clouds again we had that um the last one so it could be six days six weeks six months or in june maybe you've already met them too huh well we did have clinging to the past you've probably met them because you've already um because we have the six of cups as well <laughs> wow some of you are still clinging to the past or they're clinging on to you or it could be a past life connection as well okay so we're getting that give me more on this new love for group c spirit guides this new love for group c okay okay we have lip service they're gonna love cuddling with you kissing you um i'm getting smothering you i don't know so phantom lover fantasy they have this fantasy maybe they also fantasize you already or th whenever they're not with you they really do feel like they're they you are their fantasy dream come true or something like that a gamble again i feel like maybe if this is not the past that is clinging on to you it is someone from a past life connection that's gonna make things right with you this time but it is a gamble so maybe both of you have gone through a lot and and there is a chance to fix it do it right this lifetime 
that kind of thing oh we already got this huh okay so let's see what we have I don't want to put these away yet but it's get your charms okay let's see give me more on this person for group C okay let's see what we have this person is going to be very loyal at your beck and call that's what I'm getting with this with a dog at your feet they're going to be very slow to take to really like get I feel like it's more of a commitment issue here very slow because they it's like Saturn energy slow because maybe they've learned a lot from the past and because they're very action oriented but if this is maybe somebody in your life that has taken their time um, to really offer something here it's because they have been focused on maybe traveling um, learning or something like that okay we have the bell here i feel like this person will be trying to get your attention here or maybe i don't know why every time i get the bell i hear wedding bells so maybe this person this person could there's potential this person sees you in their future as like their their partner we have the wheel i feel like again it could be a Sagittarius like things could be turning around it could be a karmic cycle that both of you have gone through also past life um, you've learned a lot of lessons with this person in a past lifetime this person could be starting out as a fling we have the you all know what this is <laughs> I forgot what it was I forgot what the what it was called okay so we have the clown house i feel like this person is also really likes to see life in how do i say it with eyes of a child like if they're first learning something new very exciting very um they they take life um not too serious they don't like to take life too serious here yeah that's what I'm getting hmm okay so next we have the button I feel with the button here it brings a message of success of money of maybe they're focused on their money on their success on their career um, that's why they don't want to be tied down maybe that's why they they're gonna be taking a long time to actually you know get you give you something final like a commitment or something because maybe you both are going to start something casual or have started that way already okay we have the moon and the heart this person could be very emotional rom romantic whenever they want like they'll be there for you they they believe in romance they know about romance and they can show you that side of them themselves i feel i don't know why but i feel like they whenever they want to to show you that side they will we have the elephant here i feel like with this person i don't know why i'm feeling that this person is not gonna like to actually being criticized or having a big problem in between you two this person is not going to want to deal with it or because maybe they feel like they're going to feel criticized in some sort i don't know why i'm getting that with the elephant but the elephant usually brings a message of you know a big problem within both of you that both of you have not resolved mm -hmm what i'm getting okay so we have the carriage baby carriage so there could be new beginnings here with this person there could be growth there could be 
actual pregnancy or a family here a potential for family and we have the badass um, button here which brings you know somebody knowing how confident maybe they're very confident as well okay so that is what I'm getting let me get some initials that was a lot let's see initials for C group C okay so we have B we have C we have N M N again Q E and W okay so that is what I have N as in no and M as in mouse okay so just so you'll know <laughs> so I hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much for watching and let's move forward to the next one Ooh, a lot of messages tonight. Okay, well, let's see. Group D. Well, who is your new love? So far, I've gotten past. So I hope you all are looking for new love and not your past here. Okay, so we have... I always feel like Group D is always looking for new love. I don't know why. Okay, so we have Libra. Harmonious, cooperative, balanced. It could be a Libra. It could be somebody that is very fashionable. They're into the aesthetics. They're very choosy. They're very picky. They're flattering. Very judgmental. <laughs> could be ju judgmental. And also a people pleaser. We have the moon. But they're also, they know about their, their they, they're very in touch with their, um, motherly instincts their emotions their feminine side um they could be very family oriented their home is very important to them their mom is very important to them could be the, we have the fifth house very passionate um that we have entertainment um, playful love affairs passion pleasures parties they love to go parties they love to um they have a uh, humor, a good sense of humor could be a good sense of humor. Let's see, it could be a Leo. They could be a little bit too dramatic, but they also love to have fun and play. We have Mars. Ooh, yeah, it could be a Scorpio or an Aries here. We have very action oriented very energizing person very energetic person i mean mars again oh look at that interesting it's different deck look at that the drive for yep very action oriented person interesting we have two mars very strong mars in wow could be um they like to express themselves um could be also expressing themselves by their appearance the way that they carry themselves mm -hmm. very flashy i don't know why i'm getting flashy could be uh, maybe they're into the entertainment business entertainer or something creative mm -hmm. Ooh. okay okay so this person could be somebody that could probably be having financial issues when you meet them they're gonna feel like a little locked down a little like an outsider this person is i feel like you're gonna be um meeting someone that you're gonna learn so much with i mean learning lessons here i'm feeling more like a very uh, like a twin flame soulmate connection here the snake is really popping out which means um i feel like it's the north node and south node they are going back to isn't it sag and gemini in the tropical i feel i don't know somebody can correct me but 
the snake here also represents the north node and south node which is the south node is known to be more of the karma work the something you have to work at learn from maybe they're going through that themselves too with their financials their finances right now wow we have sorrow so this person feels you're probably gonna meet them at a time when they're trying to get over someone or maybe um stressing too much about work or their finances or maybe stressing too much about their soulmate or maybe this is your past i hope not because this is new love i i really want a new love here i don't if you're here for new love it's good it's new love take your message <laughs> take your message and run because this person is going to just be very sad when you meet them okay i feel like they're going to be down in the dumps they're going to be learning their lessons the hard way let go so you have an extra message here um from this deck it's walk away from the situation in order to resolve it so this person is letting go of something you might have known you've already know this person probably this person could be a healer or oh, that's why the dog was popping out um maybe this person is a vet as well veteranian is that how you say it maybe they are they talk to animals they have a strong connection with animals or maybe they are a healer maybe they also work in the nursing in the something in nursing in the hospitals something like that or a, or a what is it animal shelter of some sort let's see what else they're a bully so they intimidate people here i feel like they intimidate people they're not afraid of saying what they feel what they're thinking um they confront their fears they're not afraid of anything Ooh, okay Give me more on this um, group D's new love. New love for group D. Okay, so this there could be a proposition between you two. This could lead to something very, very serious. This person will be available and ready or is going to see you this way. Love and lace. I feel like there's going to be this... Um, I feel like this person does care about how they look how they portray themselves how they could be innocent but in the bedroom they could be someone different here <laughs> that's what i'm getting here give me two more see seduction in the room i feel like they're gonna be that way they want somebody a fantasy here they want to fulfill a fantasy or they they want to uh, fulfill fantasies bottom of the deck we have rendezvous so this person is very romantic i feel but there's something else behind closed doors here they're very sexy very um sexual oriented here <laughs> passionate we did have passion here and mars twice Ooh, okay give me more for group d they're for their new love spirit guides their new love This person also loves, their, they're very family oriented. They could be close to their mom. We have the chariot. They love friends. They have lots of friends. They love to connect with others and they keep connections very close. A lot of people seek them out as well. See, a lot of people seek them out. We have the king of pentacles. This person has their like business intact or their, um, their money. Oh, okay. Or they could be going through some stuff here. We do have the Nine of Wands. Too many responsibilities. They love to stay grounded and on top of their money. But I feel like with the Nine of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, they could be going through a lot of responsibilities, a lot of burdens. Here it could be with the business or the just their stability in general. And they really love to have a secure and stable life. Okay. They really know, have a good head on their shoulders. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Okay, when are you going to meet this person? When are you going to... Group D, when are they going to meet this person, Spirit Guides? So 
so far I've been getting. <laughs> I don't know. Hope I don't get the same. We have the house. We didn't get the same. Good thing. Okay, so we have four days, four weeks, four months, or next April that this person can come into your life. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so let's do your charms. Let's get some more info on this person. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so this person can love country music or be one of those country person people. Um, but I'm also getting that they're walking away from something from the past. It could be walking away from something here from the past. We do have let go. There, maybe they're going through something here. We have the world card. Yeah, they're finishing a cycle here and they're becoming available right now that's why it's taking some time to really make this person for some of you yeah they're go they're getting over something the hard way they've learned their hard lessons here okay they are ready for a commitment we have the ring coming out interesting out of all those charms this has already came out twice they could be a gemini or you could be a gemini and they have learned that not everything is perfect okay not everybody is perfect not everything comes out perfect we have the handcuffs here oof this also brings me the message of you know um a new contract a new cycle a new um someone is gonna feel bound to you or both of you are gonna have a soul contract to fulfill with the world card and the handcuffs that is a new soul contract for me okay so we have the chariot again is it the chariot yes we have the chariot again we have this chariot here so this person is is going to be someone that really takes confidence in what they do they are going to be very confident around you the security and stability is very important to them and then we have always so this could be your forever person here with the ring and always here always with a heart this could be your person the one that you're gonna stay with mm -hmm. okay so let's get initials okay for J spirit okay I'm just gonna get a couple it's general so it doesn't have to resonate Okay, so we have G, we have I, we have M, we have D, we have F, and T. You know what? Look at that. I have two sets of alphabets here, but this person is going to really care about their looks. Because most of them, they all are unique and pretty. <laughs> this person is going to really care about their that's what i'm getting a message i'm getting care about their appearance um didn't i get that yeah see so i hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much and i hope you liked and enjoyed this reading it was a little different than what i'm used to so thanks again and take care bye